Hey y'all, it's me. This dude, and we're reacting to a couple of uh, Cory Kenshin's compilations of creepy and scary uh, Sunday episode things. This brings me to a little over a month ago when our location was recently selected. Yeah, let's get it. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm here with Nick. Nick, say hi. Yeah. <laughs> He likes eating my Yoshi, and I don't know why. I want to die. <laughs> what you playing over there, Nick? Playing some Pokemans? Use Blaze. Got him. All right. Trying desperately to finish that last-minute presentation. A couple weeks ago, I had encountered a new type of customer, though he is very difficult to describe. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met someone that makes you nervous for some unknown reason? Yeah. Well, at around 2.30 a.m., a man walked in with a large overcoat, with a uh. collar pulled up, and a black beanie on his head. What struck me as odd first was the lack of people in our lobby. Normally, at this time, we'd have the goths huddled in the corner cursing the system or something. But the entire store was empty aside from this man, myself, and my manager who was in the back. Probably sleeping or something. Uh, After hey. this person walked in, I thought it had to be a homeless man. Trying to escape the cold and possibly seek out a hot cup of pity. Homeless man? But then I saw his face. He's too well he was gaunt, but cleanly shaven. His eyes had dark circles around them as if he were tired, but he seemed quite energized. He then walked up to the counter. So everybody else says that they want to go to sleep. Asked him what he would like to order. He just stared straight ahead as if he were zoning out. Ah, uh, hello. He repeated my question a bit louder. He only said one word. Coffee. Okay. I got you. The man then leaned down and looked me in the eye. And asked me if I was alone. <laughs> no. No. I told him I wasn't. That my manager was in the back room. He then pulled out a few crumpled up dollar bills and handed it to me and then walked back to the door without taking his coffee with him. As soon as he left the building, I felt this intense atmosphere lift up from around me. I quickly rushed to the back and told my manager about the whole situation, which he told me to put the man's money aside in case he comes back for it. The next night, everything was back to normal. The usual Tell me this doesn't look like a TV universe. Look like a garnet or sapphire, I don't know what they're there. Full customers sat in their respective seats, sipping their coffee. While I was keeping myself oh, there we go. mopping the floor, I couldn't How's that? Oh, oh, that's when I happened to look out of our front window. Bro, what do you want? <laughs> look at this dude! Oh, look at this dude! Oh, zoom in on that face, dude! Mm. Look at that white boy! Oh, it's Look at it, dude! He's thinking Naruto with that freaking disappearing machine, dude. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna stop that. That must be really freaking annoying you. I had arrived to work and relieved the people working for me. That's when I received a call from my manager telling me that he had a family emergency and would be a few hours late. Oh, great. I was upset, but there wasn't much I could do, so I just said, all right. After three uneventful hours of me cleaning the same racks over and over again to keep my mind off things, I glanced out of the window once more. Yep. You what know who that is? My blood turned to ice. You know who it is? Oh my god! Oh jeez, look at this dude. He was grinning at me with a sinister smile that caused oh. my heart to seize up. Right away, I pulled out my cell phone and called the police. While my phone was ringing, the man did something strange. Without peeling his what eyes the from the glass, he pulled out his cell phone from his pocket. What's I watched him carefully as he began to type something into the phone without even looking at it. Look at him! At that moment, my phone buzzed, notifying me of a text. The message said, Now you're alone. Oh! Why did it say, Donut Boss? Oh, so that guy got to the boss, killed him, presumably, and took his phone, and then texted the guy off of the... Yo. <laughs> No, no, no. But the 
next one's called Fox, and it's sent in by uh, Hayden the Birdmaster. So, um, Hayden, I think it's amazing that you're a birdmaster. If you could kindly train me to also be a birdmaster so I can tame the zap bills flying outside my window. Geneva Film Company presents a film by James Stewart and Mary Geneva Design. <laughs> My bros, I'm sorry for that. Sorry if y'all weren't behind this camera to not catch any of what just. Uh. I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't So, I thought you'll watch Nick real quick. No. Mix gamer time. Yeah. Oh, what a mix gamer cartridge. Yay, fun time. 
No, I like that one. You ready for this? Oh, good. These are scary things. <laughs> These ones freak me out, my dude. Look at this. Oh wow, that thing looks creepy. If you're pause your game for a couple minutes, for a couple seconds, watch this. There's only one more after this, so don't worry. Alright, ready? Last one, number 10. There's this one.
was creepy, dude. <laughs> you thought it was over. But it didn't over until dead son. <laughs> Did I get y'all? And did I? <laughs> Thank you for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe. Uh, have a nice day. This has been Ruger Plays Games and watches videos. Uh, that's not part of my title. <laughs> have a good day. Nick, did you like the video? Watch Nick for a second. Okay, cool. Thank you, and see you later. Like, subscribe, comment. You don't have to, though. But I'd like it if you did.